name is Dr. K C H Aparo, working as an associate professor in mechanical engineering department. In previous class, we discussed the uh, NTU method, or derivation of NTU method uh, for parallel flow heat exchanger. Okay, so we are discussing the uh, question bank discussions. So in which we have derivation of NTU. For parallel flow, derivation of N two for uh, counter flow. In previous class, we covered the derivation of N two method for uh, for parallel flow. Now we'll see derivation of N two method for the counter flow. Okay. So derive an expression uh, for N two in case of counter current flow double pipe double pipe heat exchanger. So this is the question. Which is given in our question bank. We will discuss or we will derive this NTU method for finding the rate of heat transfer for the counter flow. Okay. <coughs> so it is also known as NTU method or effective uh, method, heat ex heat exchanger effective method. So how to find find out the effectiveness? Effectiveness, you know the formula for the effectiveness. Uh, also, an alternate method for the heat exchanger that is the effectiveness NT method. Already in previous class we discussed that. Uh, what is the importance of effect effectiveness? Uh, then LNTD. Uh, this time repeating that one also NTU. You know that NTU stand for number of transfer units. And it is nothing but number of transfer units. We have already one method that is LMTD method for the design of heat exchanger, or to find the rate of heat transfer uh, in heat exchangers U A delta T L. But uh, for finding the U rate of heat transfer through LMTD method, we should require two temperatures. That means hot fluid inlet. Hot fluid outlet, cold fluid inlet, cold fluid outlet. So we should require the outlet and inlet temperatures of two fluids. One is hot fluid, another one is cold fluid. Without uh, four temperatures, we can't uh, find the rate of heat transfer through LMTD method. But some cases. So, uh, in practice, outlet temperatures of the fluid stream, of your fluid stream, from a heat exchanger, may not be available due to heat exchanger is being connected to a downstream processing unit. So, such as reactor or chill or something. Okay, so. Due to this problem, because these heat exchangers are being connected to downstream processing unit, we are unable to um, measure the outlet temperatures of hot fluid and cold fluid. So here uh, we can measure only input temperatures. Input temperature of hot fluid, it means H and uh, T C cold fluid inlet. So we know here only input temperatures, hot fluid input and cold fluid input. We don't know the output temperatures of hot fluid and cold fluid. So in this case, we can't uh, prefer the LMTD method, LMTD method for finding Q value, rate of heat transfer. Know that formula U A delta T L M. We are unable to find the delta T L M. So logarithmic mean temperature that means we can find out. So in these cases, we prefer the NTU method. Okay. So by NTU method, we can measure the rate of heat transfer uh, without any outer temperatures. Okay. So we'll see uh, how to find out that to NTU uh, NTU method, or uh, how to find the effectiveness of NTU method. Okay, we will see. So, these are the already uh, 
discuss in previous class. Okay, effectiveness epsilon NT method. You know that formula effectiveness is equal to actual heat transfer Q by maximum possible heat transfer Q max. Okay. Actual heat transfer, you know that formulas for actual heat transfer that is uh, uh, according to thermodynamic uh, energy formulas, you know that uh, Q is equal to MHCH into THA minus TH naught or MCCC into TC naught minus TCH. You know, we know uh, those formulas. Then how to find out the Q max? Q max. Maximum possible heat transfer. Maximum possible heat transfer. What is maximum possible heat transfer? We will see. So, these are the formulas to find out the actual heat transfer. So, you know this one already we saw in previous uh, derivations, LMTT derivations. We will see the maximum possible heat transfer. So, Q max, Q max, the maximum value could be attained if one of the fluids were to undergo a temperature change equal to the maximum temperature difference. Okay. So, present in the exchange. So, heat exchange. Maximum temperature difference means so, highest temperature is the hot fluid inlet, lowest temperature is the cold fluid inlet. The difference between these two, it shows the maximum possible uh, temperature difference. Okay. So, if it is the maximum automatically specific heat CH or C, that should be minimum. So, C minimum into inlet temperature differences that is nothing but to Q max, maximum possible heat transfer. Okay. Here we will see. Uh, sometimes the hot fluid inlet is equal to cold fluid outlet. Okay. So, then the cold fluid temperature differences, cold fluid temperature differences means you know the formula that is uh, for cold fluid capital CH into uh, not CH CC for cold fluid into TC naught minus TC. So, this is the formula according to thermodynamics loss. Okay. <coughs> so, based upon this case, we can rewrite this formula like this one CC into TH. T C naught is nothing but T H T H I minus T C. Okay. If the any one of the temperature just like T H I is equal to T C naught means here the condition is C H C C C C is very less than or less than C H because temperature difference is very high means the corresponding specific heat of the fluid that should be minimum. The product of these two equal to Q. Okay. So, this CC that that is the minimum you can rewrite like this one CC is nothing but C minimum into THA minus TC. Okay. So, this is nothing but Q max, Q max maximum possible heat transfer. In case of here just like the hot fluid outlet is equal to cold fluid inlet. So, if you then the condition is CH specific heat of the hot fluid is very uh, less than uh, CC specific heat of the cold fluid. Here CH is the minimum. So, here Q is equal to CH into hot fluid inlet minus cold fluid hot fluid outlet. So, hot fluid temperature differences, you know this one, this I am rewriting. So, Q is equal to capital CH into THA minus TH naught. So, this is the formula. Okay. So, here, so in case of uh, TH naught, outlet temperature of the hot fluid is equal to TCA. If you write like this one, CH into THA minus T C. So, inlet temperature differences, inlet temperature. Then, 
then ch is according to this principle ch is equal to c minimum so c minimum into th minus tch so this shows the q max so this is the formula of q max with respect to hot fluid so this is the formula for the q max for uh, cold fluid okay so for the cold fluid uh, q max means cc is the minimum uh, for the hot fluid with respect to hot fluid q max is equal to ch is the minimum you have to remember these things okay so here just like we are taking ch hot fluid specific heat is less than cc it means ch is the minimum and the cc is the maximum so by using this condition we are going to uh, solve the uh, determine the uh, effectiveness form okay so just uh, for determining for determine the effectiveness for a counter flow heat exchanger first we are assuming c minimum is ch ch is c minimum so by using this condition we will we'll go for the derivation uh, we know that effectiveness effectiveness is equal to actual heat transfer by q max okay so q max also related to uh, hot fluid because we are taking c minimum is equal to ch so then you, you can take the actual heat transfer which are related to uh, hot fluids okay so actual heat transfer q is equal to with respect to hot fluid ch capital ch into th minus so th not by q max okay if the ch is equal to c minimum so you know that formula c minimum q max is nothing but a c minimum to uh, th minus tca inlet temperature uh, temperature difference okay so here c minimum is equal to ch so this is c minimum is nothing but ch then ch and ch c specific h so specific heat of the hot fluid specific heat of the hot fluid so both will be cancelled then effectiveness is equal to hot fluid inlet minus hot fluid outlet by hot fluid inlet minus cold fluid inlet so this is the equation one okay then you know this formulas this is the formulas for the actual rate of heat transfer uh, is equal to mh ch into t h i minus so t h not so hot fluid temperature differences these are the cold fluid temperature differences so mh ch is nothing but capital ch specific heat of hot fluid into t h i minus t h not here just like to, so by using uh, these formulas just to, we are writing this one c minimum by c max c minimum is nothing but to, ch we are taking we are assumed that ch is the c minimum so ch by cc so ch means mh ch cc is nothing but mc cc is equal to so according to this one tc not minus tca by th minus th not okay no th minus so maximum is equal to okay so okay let's see th not so by using this formulas just to, we are writing this one is equal to okay T H A minus T this one. So this one is equal to uh, hot fluid H naught. Okay. So this one is nothing but to T H A. You see that one. So we know that uh, following equation. This uh, equation we you know already. So this one derived in the LMTD method. So we can take that formula directly here. Ln delta T2 by delta T1 is equal to minus U A into 1 by C H minus 1 by C C. Okay. So uh, we solve this one uh, by using this formulas. By using this formulas, we can. Uh, we can substitute 
1 by CH in place of 1 by CH, you can write the Q by uh, THA minus TH naught. So, here we will see. Delta T2 by delta T1. Delta T2 for the counter flow, you know that hot fluid uh, outlet minus cold fluid inlet. Delta T2 not delta T1. So, delta T2 this one, delta T1 is equal to hot fluid inlet minus uh, cold fluid outlet. So, these are the formulas. So, you can substitute uh, these values here because this is a counter flow. Then minus Ua you know that 1 by CH. So, by using this formula, you can write 1 by CH. 1 by CH is nothing but, so THA minus TH naught by Q. You can substitute those values. Okay. Otherwise, you can uh, take common because uh, here uh, CH is the C minimum. So, you can write like this one. You can uh, take common. Mm, is equal to is equal to minus u a by c h c h is nothing but c minimum then 1 minus c h c h means c minimum by c c is nothing but c max okay so this one this is the formula like this one okay. so this is the delta t2 this one is the delta t1 is equal to minus u a by c minimum into 1 minus C minimum by C maximum. So, CH is equal to C minimum, just to assume that one. Okay. So, then you can uh, send this uh, log to uh, right side, then it will be, um, it will become exponential. So, TH naught minus TCA by THA minus TC naught is equal to exponential of minus UEA by C minimum into 1 minus C minimum by C maximum. Okay, just to uh, already we derived in equation 1 and the equation 2. By using equation 1 and by using equation 2, we uh, just to we write the values of TCA and TC naught. So, hot fluid inlet to uh, cold fluid inlet to cold fluid outlet will be uh, separated. Just here we will see. So, this is the equation, you know this one. Uh, just here, this one is the same, but in place of u minus u a by c, c minimum. So, u a by c minimum is nothing but uh, n t u, just n t u is equal to u a by c minimum. In place of n t u, you can write the, uh, in place of u a by c minimum, you can write the n t u, okay. So, because n t u is equal to u a by c minimum, then the expression is like this one. TH naught minus TCA by TH minus TC naught is equal to exponential of minus n or n t u into 1 minus C minimum by C maximum also. So, next we will see. You know this formula that is equation 1. Uh, effectiveness is equal to Q by Q maximum. Uh, effectiveness Q actually transfer with respect to hot fluid is the capital CH into, into THA minus TH naught by C minimum into, so this is the uh, inlet temperature differences. Here C minimum, CH both are same, will be cancelled. You know this one, TH minus TH naught by TH minus TC. Okay. So, this is the formula. Okay. Effectiveness formula. So, then we are uh, just to uh, Rearranging this equation like this one, just from this equation we are writing TCA, then TCA is equal to, if you cross multiply this one, epsilon into THA minus TCA is equal to THA minus TH naught. So, from this one we are uh, just uh, writing TCA, TCA is equal to THA minus minus TH by epsilon, TH naught by epsilon. So, this is the equation. So, this value we can substitute here. Similarly, from equation 2, we will write the T C naught value also because, so you know this, this one, uh, Q minimum by Q max. So, you know the formulas, 
C minimum is uh, C minimum is M H C H because you know the formula actually heat transfer is equal to M H C H into K H I minus T H I. Okay. So Q is equal to M C C C into T C not minus so T C. So this is the equation one already derived this one. So both are Qs. We can equal this one. M H M H C H is nothing but capital C H into T H A minus T H naught is equal to C C into T C naught minus T C A. Okay. So then uh, C H is the C minimum. Then you can write to C H by C C is equal to T C naught minus T C A by T H I minus T H naught. So this is equation two already derived this one. So by using this one, you can uh, re rewrite uh, this equation like that. T C naught. This T C naught. This T C naught is equal to. So C minimum by C maximum. C H by C C C is the C H is the C minimum by C maximum. We can simplify this one. This is nothing but you can um, you can represent like uh, C capital C. Okay, so this is the capital C. Then the equation is like this one. So T C naught is equal to capital C into T H I. Okay, so this is nothing but capital C. So capital C into T H I minus capital C into T H naught plus. Uh, T C. So in the T C S place, we can uh, rewrite the equation three here. Okay. Then this is the equation four. T C naught is the equation four. Okay. So then uh, T C naught and T C A values. So we can substitute here. So then the equation will be like this one. Okay. So here. T C I value here T C naught value. Okay, you can substitute it here. Then the equation will be like this one. L H S. So here T. So left hand side. Uh, here we can take T H I one by epsilon minus one minus T H naught one by epsilon minus one. Here also T H I one by epsilon minus C. T H naught one by epsilon minus C. So if you simplify this one, that L H is equal to one by epsilon minus one is equal to T H minus T H naught one by epsilon minus one. Okay. So T H into one by epsilon minus C minus T H naught is equal to one by epsilon minus C. So then one by H one by H naught one by H one by H naught is the common term. So you can cancel this one. Then one by epsilon minus one by one by epsilon minus c is equal to exponential of minus n t into one minus c. So this one is the value. Okay. So then uh, we can simplify this one. If you cross multiply this one, just one minus epsilon is equal to this complete term, including the right hand side one also. So then the formula will be like this one. So effectiveness is equal to And finally, you can rewrite like this one. Effectiveness is equal to one minus exponential of minus n t into one minus c by one minus c into exponential of n t. Okay. So in this way, just we can solve, uh, we can derive the effectiveness. So by using the effectiveness, we can find out the uh, rate of heat transfer. Okay. So for the counter fluid heat exchangers. So here, one numerical has been given. We will solve in uh, another PPT. Okay, so these are the references uh, to refer the NT method for uh, different to uh, NT method for quant fluid example. Thank you, for listening this class. Thank you. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.